guys, welcome! My name is Miss Multiconsole and welcome back to Dragon Quest Builders 2! At the moment I am in the new build. I have a new build to show you guys. You might have already seen it on the thumbnail, of course. <laughs> but before I show you around, I just wanted to see if you guys could help me with a little problem. <laughs> So basically I have three bathrooms in this building but my villagers won't use any of them. Two of them I kind of un can understand why because there's like a giant hole in the floor. <laughs> I will show you in a second, but one of them, there's no hole, like they should have no problems using it, so I don't get it. See, Brittany is standing outside of this bathroom, she says she needs the toilet, so I know they need the toilet, but they refuse to go in here. I think it might be the hole for this uh, bathroom here, see I just got the pot and the towel, I think it might be that there's a big hole here or something, I think it might be the reason for this one. They're coming in here, they're using the stairs, it's the first time I've seen them use the stairs actually, so <laughs> that's cool but I don't get it because this bathroom here why do they have a problem coming into this bathroom here like I haven't even seen them use this one and there is no hole in the floor and they shouldn't have any problems using it it's very strange I know they can come into this building because Brittany's been in here she's I think Brittany and Malroth are the only ones who have actually come into this building but for some weird reason they just won't use the the rooms in here even this one I haven't seen them use this bathroom either I'm not sure why like it's totally accessible I don't understand why they are refusing to use it I can understand with the rooms with the holes in but I don't get it for this one I have no idea I think I might turn one of these with the holes in into like a workshop area or something See, she just guards the, the entrances. She doesn't seem to go into the buildings though. Yeah, I might turn this one into a workshop area or something. But anyway, let me show you the new build that I have just built. I'm so excited to show you this. This build took me a while because I kept changing my mind. <laughs> I built like two different builds before I came out with this one. <laughs> so I've basically been trying to build on this like all day. <laughs> And I finally got the build that I wanted. I'm quite happy with this one actually. It's kind of simple but it's really big and it has a lot of space inside so I, I can't wait to actually like put rooms in and stuff if I can actually get my villagers to use the rooms that is. I've got stairs going up here so they shouldn't have problems getting into the building. So this is the, the front entrance. There's only one door to this place actually and then we have of course I showed you the toilets, the bathroom and then there's lots of space around here in this corner and everything and then we have an upstairs as well. So it's quite big, there's a lot of space here, it's quite a lot of space and there's a big balcony here as well. The best picture that I have managed to take of it is this one it's kind of hard to get a good picture because it's like right next to my other buildings so it's kind of hard to to get a good shot but I think it looks fantastic actually I think it looks really good I have to say that this was the most complex roofing I have ever done <laughs> It was the most annoying thing to get it to work. I will show you what I mean. So basically, I had the roofing going in all different directions. I kind of messed up a little bit here. I'm not quite sure what happened here. <laughs> it's like a big gap here. Bit weird, but it basically is like integrated into the roof. It's um, It's a little bit tricky to do but it's doable oh I haven't got rid of this spoiled soil back here yet actually I need to get rid of that <laughs> but it's really I love I just love how big it is and I think it looks great actually I've done a little decoration I haven't done too much I've literally only just finished like building this so I haven't done too much yet I've got windows down there I've got some bunting around some lights and stuff it's still like I don't know it still needs a little bit more work I need to put some more items in here and rooms and all that stuff and I need to figure out how to get my villagers to to use the the buildings. I think maybe there's not enough space here for them to get upstairs, maybe, I don't know, it's kind of narrow here, maybe that might be a problem. I don't know, I'm not sure, but we also have stairs going down here, down here is just a little walkway, basically because I had to build this building right to the back wall, I'll show you here. So as you can see it's right at the back wall so you can no longer go around the side like go round around the uh, 
round the base because of course we got this big massive building here now so you now have to go underground underneath this little walkway so that you can get around the outside i've also had stupid spoil spores ruining my grass as you can see whilst i was building i was like so engrossed in building that the spoil spores had a field day <laughs> They were having the time of their life <laughs> and I was just so engrossed that I didn't even notice the little the little warning coming up on my screen so I I missed out a lot on, on a lot on that and I can't really fix it right now because my people aren't using the bathroom they're not going toilet so I don't have night soil to fix it so they do need the toilet it's just um it's not working I'm going to have to rearrange it I'm going to have to do something to fix that for sure but I think the build looks great it's of course the biggest build in the base I did say to you guys that this was gonna be the biggest one in the base and it definitely is <laughs> We are definitely not getting any bigger than that. I think that's it for the builds inside the base. There is literally no more space in the in the base. So I am not going to be building anything else inside apart from the day tree, if you count that. <laughs> but I definitely want to build some stuff out here. Maybe an outpost and some other bits and pieces. I haven't fully decided, but I definitely want to do some more stuff out here because it looks a little plain out here. I've done so much work on the inside that we should do some on the outside too. I definitely have to build a castle at some point. I loved building the castle in Dragon Quest Builders 1. I don't know if you guys watched the first playthrough that I did but the one in Tantagel, the castle I did in the last chapter, I thought went really well so I want to build a big castle like that again because I really enjoyed building that. It was really fun. So anyway, I am going to see if we can continue building on the day tree. Thank you guys for the help in gathering materials. Like a few of you said to me not to gather them because the villagers do and I did find that out so that's very handy. <laughs> I'm glad. Oh I built some sweeties as well. Just need sugar cane and um, I have a quest for that that I need to turn in. I just haven't got around to it yet. I got loads to do still so I definitely have a lot on my plate but that's okay. That's okay. I like to be busy. <laughs> okay anything else? Have I, do I need any other materials? Nope, I think we're good. I think we're good. All right, so let's see. Where do I start? I think we start with bark, don't we? Yes, I got so much of this too, which is really nice. We're going to go down a level and we're going to do this. Should I talk to the, um, the villagers first? I know a lot of people have said that I should go around and speak to the villagers first. Maybe they say something important. I have no idea, but I'm intrigued. <laughs> I'm going to talk to Bonanzo. Oh, I did accidentally click on one of the quests whilst I was building I accidentally clicked on the worm and um, they didn't really say much they just said um, it's time to build the day tree and there's some kind of hidden power within the day tree or something I don't know Rosie said she would tell us more when she finds out more so we'll see we'll see let's speak to Bonanzo and see what he says thanks again for drawing up the blueprint my girl it's got us all enthusiastic about building again. You're welcome, you're welcome. In fact, we're all so fired up about making a new day tree that we want to help build it ourselves. Awesome, I won't say no. I suspect that the urge to create that welled up within us each time you rang that great bell was all in aid of this. We're fated to help you build. Awesome, I won't say no. I wish you guys have, would have helped me when I was building that big massive house though. <laughs> The only problem is, we're not really sure what to do. We've never actually built anything before. Not properly, anyway. That's okay, I can I can give you tasks. I'll be like, you go that way. You build that side, build that wall. <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> that is why you must show us how it's done. Gather a few blocks of bark and begin building the blueprint and we shall follow your lead. Alrighty, we'll need more than a few blocks to build this old tree. Tell you what, while you're teaching these two how to build, we'll go and collect all the materials we need. I think they've already been doing that because I have enough. <laughs> Come on everyone, let's get collecting! Off they go! Woohoo! <laughs> That's awesome. It seems our fellow villagers are as eager to begin building as I. They will do their part. Of that, I have no doubt. Yes, we all have our part to play for sure. Just that us is a little bigger than the villagers. <laughs> 
but so too must we. Go, Malty, and gather enough bark to finish the lowest layer of the blueprint. Rosie and I shall watch how you do it and teach the others. Um, I kind of already have enough. <laughs> It looks like you'll need about 40 blocks of bark. You should be able to find all you need in the rainforest where the bodkin archers live. I swear down I didn't collect 900 bark, but apparently I've got 900 bark. <laughs> It's got to have been the villagers. No doubt, you will have to cut down a tree or two to claim their bark, but it is for the greater good. It is for the day tree, indeed. <laughs> Gather the 40 blocks of bark you need and begin building the blueprint. We'll all join in as soon as we've figured out how it's done. Okay, sweet. Let's go see what some of the residents say. I was on the run from the children of Argon for a long time. There ain't no bit of island I ain't been to. If there's anything you need to know, just ask. Okay, good to know, good to know. What about you? Okay, you don't say anything. You don't say anything. Ah, oh, the ghost. I haven't spoke to the ghost in a while. I keep thinking he's a monster. Once you complete the blueprint, it will be time to defeat the children of Hargon once and for all. Awesome. So after we've done the day tree, it will be time to kill the children of Hargon. Oh yeah, I completely forgot to show you guys this. <laughs> This used to be my little work bench area, but I destroyed it, put some grass down, put a tree. I got a little swing on the tree as well. It's like a little picnic slash dining kind of area. It's kind of cute. I like it. It's nothing major, so I completely just forgot about forgot about it, to be honest. I forgot I did it. <laughs> But yeah, I think it looks quite nice actually. The base is coming along nicely. Well, we're almost finished actually. I think I just need like a few finishing touches and then like the outside of the uh, the base. Yeah, I know you need a toilet. I need to fix that. I need to figure out if there's a, a way or something I can do to to fix that for sure. So um, anyway, I was going to talk to more of the villagers. I got totally distracted. Let's see here. Can I talk to you? No. Bonanzo, he doesn't say much. Okay. I actually think half my villagers went out collecting materials, didn't they? Don't actually think I've got many villagers actually in here. What does Malroth say? Does Malroth say anything? I want to get that dumb monkey back for what he did to Pastor Owl, and the best way to do that is to build a new day tree as quick as we can. That's very true, very true indeed. There's Brittany. Nice blueprint, Multi. We're all super pumped to be working on something so rad. <laughs> Radical. <laughs> Sweet, okay. Anything here? No, we're all good. Let's go down to the underground farm because a lot of my villagers spend a lot of their time down there, actually. So they could be down there. If not, then I'll just start on the blueprint and we'll be good to go. Yeah, I think I think we're all good. Okay, let's start on the on the blueprint. All I have to do is fill up these little little blocks with bark, and that's the first floor of the day tree done so that's awesome i wonder if this is going to take a while for us to build multi places the first 40 blocks of the new day tree nice incredible absolutely incredible multi you think that's incredible look at my new build <laughs> why don't they look at it <laughs> Watching you place those pieces of bark in the perfect position was an educational experience indeed. Why, it was positively epiphanic. I don't know if I pronounced that right, I have no idea. I don't know. I've seen you building things before, Multi, but this is the first time I've thought I might be able to handle it myself. Anyone can be a builder, you just need time and patience. <laughs> Why, with Multi's highly detailed blueprint to work from, I'm sure we'll be able to make an excellent fist of it. Yes, I'm sure we'll be fine. Multi! Multi! Yes, Perry, what's up? Perry, what's all this shouting in aid of? Yes, did you find my materials? Whew, we gathered all the materials we'll need to rebuild the day tree. Whew, he is completely out of breath, but I hope he got a lot of supplies. We really put our blood sweat and tears into this multi i'm sure you did thank you very much oh a chest sweet we put it all in in this ear chest 
sweet, but I already have the materials. I don't know where they came from because <laughs> I swear they just randomly appeared. Miss Multi, ma'am, I gathered all the extra blocks of bark and leaves. We'll need to finish the blueprint. Sweet, that's really handy. That's really cool how they collect stuff for us. And I tried my hand at building. I made some wooden steps. You know, I have like 300 wooden steps. I do not need wooden steps, but it's the fort that counts. All in all, we've prepared every single thing we'll need to build the day tree. He is totally out of breath. <laughs> and it's all in the chest. Guys, you should just go rest. Go rest in my picnic area. I'm glad that we finally tried our and at gathering materials. Now we all know how odd Maltese at it all this time. Yeah, you should have helped me before, man. <laughs> they all just collapse. <laughs> Fine work, everyone. Now that we have both the skills and the means, the blueprint building can begin in earnest. Alrighty, sweet, amazing. All right, let's turn the question. I really want to fill these blocks in, but let's let's turn the question first. It's kind of condescending. Stop it. <laughs> <laughs> well done, my girl. After watching your masterful construction work, I think we all feel ready to help build our new day tree. Okay, good. Let's talk more build. <laughs> all we need is a blueprint and materials, and we'll be able to lend a hand with any new structure that needs building. Okay, of course we cannot work without the necessary materials, so if you require our assistance, be sure to lay some supplies in stock. That's really handy. Fortunately, it seems Perry and the others have gathered everything we need for the time being. Okay, that's awesome. We shall do the bulk of the building work, but it falls to you to place the crucial heartwood, my girl. I can't wait to see them all working. Once you've done that, our first blueprint will be complete. That would be awesome. I think I speak for everyone when I say we're all very excited about building a new day tree. I really like how they're getting the villagers involved like this. It's really cool. It gives them more meaning. But if we could get the beastly, ghastly children of Hargon back for being so horrid to us, that would be all the better. I agree. We're all counting on you, Malsi, and you too, Malroth. We got this. No pressure, Malroth. <laughs> we got this, for sure. All right, are we ready to get started? Are we all prepared and ready now? <laughs> it seems all the preparations are in order. Everyone, I have an announcement to make. No, you are not becoming mayor. <laughs> While you were away gathering materials, I was carefully studying Malty while she worked. You are watching me? It's kind of creepy, man. <laughs> I have gained a deep insight into the secrets of blueprint building, and I shall share my wisdom with you all. Follow my example and we will soon see the day tree standing tall. Am I even needed here? They're just taking over my, my job. <laughs> For Furrowfield! Yeah! Hip hip hooray! Alright, oh, power to the people! As long as you have a chest containing the necessary items, the residents will construct blueprints for you. That is amazing, actually. That's really cool. Okay, here they go! Build for me, my little minions! Go! Get to work! <laughs> this is so cool. But they take ages. Oh, here we go. Now they're doing it. Oh, they're doing the second floor. This is amazing! This is so cool! <laughs> Wow! I don't even have to do anything! Why am I even here? <laughs> I just get the villagers to do it all for me. That's fantastic. That's so cool. I can't wait to see this fully built. Oh my god, this is going to be done so quick. It's going to be done quicker than I was expecting it to be. Okay, what's in there? Have they got everything they need? It looks like they do. I will just sit back and uh, sip on some hot chocolate whilst they, they get working. <laughs> Because why not? <laughs> this is really cool. Oh, you know what? We could speak to Wiggly whilst we're waiting. Although I think it will stop them from building. Poor Wiggly is stuck like inside the day tree. <laughs> He's like stuck inside. <laughs> okay, Wiggly, let's see what he has to say. I wonder what Pastor Al was going on about when he said there was a way to give the day tree more power. Hmm, I want to know more about this too. I do remember him mentioning that when the ancient builder first built the day tree, it was decorated with beautiful flowers in three different colours. I really want some flowers. That would be awesome. It would definitely spruce this place up. When we planted all those 
crops before, it gave the old tree power. Maybe planting flowers could do the same thing for the new one. That would be awesome. Oh, ah, three different colours of flower, you say? I wonder if that's related to them chromatic case? Whatever that is. Aside from the island you found the old day tree on, there's three other little islands off the coast, so there are. The chromatic K's they used to call them. Ah, okay. Perhaps they were named after the colours of the flowers. If nothing else, it's worth investigating. Alright, one of the islands is just to the east of my old burrow where you first met me. You should be able to fly over from the cliff overlooking the sea there. You'll probably want to warp to Fat Rat Rise first. It might even be worth your while asking some of the fat rats there for help. Okay, please Malty, you have to try. Okay, head to the first of the Chromatic Ks and see if there's anything there that we can use to power up the day tree. Awesome! Okay, so we are going to be out looking for flowers whilst our people carry on building our day tree. I kind of don't want to leave. <laughs> like, I want to watch them work. I want to see, like, this completed. Although, we have the blueprint here, so, uh, well, they actually don't have that much more to build. They're actually almost done, but it's just really satisfying just seeing them all just work like this and just seeing how fast it gets constructed it's so satisfying can you see all these like leaves and all these like blocks I've got like I did build the wooden steps I did build the wood but I don't remember getting all of that bark but I don't know I know I did have a lot of wood but I thought it was like in this form like um just the material wood I don't know where it came from it's really weird I'm not complaining <laughs> But it's cool, it's very cool. Yeah, look at it guys, it's almost done. This is amazing. I'm, I'm watching the whole thing. <laughs> I don't know if you guys want to watch the whole thing, but I'm watching the whole thing. <laughs> it's awesome. Yeah, I think they're nearly done. They're literally nearly done, I think. Are they done? Are they finished? Some Clayton's still doing something down there. I think it's just a, a few finishing touches. Oh, there's a little bit more. Oh, no, nope, they're still going. <laughs> okay, there's a little bit more up the top there. They're so quick. Wish I could, like, build stuff that fast. Okay, I've got stupid spoil spores attacking my base. That sucks so bad. All right, let's get this stupid spoil spore out of the way here. All right, there we go. Ah, oh, don't destroy. I'm trying to get rid of that spoil spore. Stop it. <laughs> How can I get rid of it? She, she keeps destroying it. <laughs> oh my god. Oh no. We're gonna have spoil spore word. No, stop it. <laughs> okay, whatever. I give up. Wait, she stopped. No, it's not gonna work. Okay, well, ugh, that's annoying. If it turns into spoil spore stuff, I'm sure that they will destroy it because, like, she keeps destroying all the stuff I'm putting down, so I'm sure she will, like, destroy it and put some fresh down or something. That's really annoying. <laughs> I'm there, like, trying to do a good thing. I'm there trying to help. <laughs> she just destroys all my hard work. <laughs> How annoying. The spoil spores are, like, the most annoying thing. Please tell me that spoil spores are not in the next chapter. Please, guys. <laughs> because I really never want to see these things ever again. They are so annoying. Oh, goddamn. I'm going to have to move my entire table. How annoying is that? Okay, um, let's put that there. There we go. It's really annoying when they're like right next to stuff and then you have to like move your entire setup just so you can get at the stupid, stupid spoil spore. Alright, there we go. Uh, I need to put some more food in here. My food just disappeared. I actually don't know where it went, but I'll put some greens in there. That's fine. I got like two lots of that, but whatever, it's fine. Um, I need to check to see if there's any more spoil spores hiding about in my base. They like to hide up here sometimes. Um, okay, none up here. That's good. Sometimes they like to hide. Oh, is it done? I wonder if they're done. Looks like it might be. Um, sometimes they hide in this field. Nope, nothing there. Sometimes down here. So many places for them to hide hide out is so annoying. I have um, actually destroyed my second exit to this place. I've covered it up. I didn't think we needed two entrances to that place. I think that might be all of them. 
luckily. Yes, I think that's all that spawned in. So we got kind of lucky there. Okay, I think it's done. <gasps> look at that. Oh, look. See, he he went off. He exploded. Um, Apparently, did he not destroy anything? I think they're destroying the stuff that got tainted by the spoil spore. So I think they're handling it. I think it's fine. But that looks awesome. I can't wait to see what this looks like fully built. I can't wait. I'm so excited. All right, we're going to look for some flowers in the next episode. I know I'm messed about a little bit here but I was just so excited to see them build <laughs> it was so awesome yes I can't wait to find the flowers and I'm gonna work out how I can like fix these bathrooms and get them operational maybe I just need to make the rooms a little bit bigger or something I don't really know I'm sure I'll work it out let me know what you think though let me know what you think I should do to fix it I'm gonna stop the episode here for now though thank you for watching I hope you enjoyed if you like what you see on the channel please consider supporting me on Patreon. Please comment, rate and subscribe and I hope I'll see you next time.